Hello friends. A couple weeks ago, I shared a video where I showed you all of the ways that Raymond and I display our photography in our home. I will link to that video in the description of this video so that you can go check that out when you're done here. But one of the ways that I mentioned to display photos is electronically, such as digital frames. Raymond and I have gifted them before, and in that video, I said that I would actually like to have one, and no lie, the same day that I filmed that video, Aura Frames contacted me about working together. <laughs> it was a little weird, <laughs> but that means that this video is sponsored by Aura Frames, and now I have a digital frame. I do, however, want to be clear right up front that I only take sponsors when I like the product and when I feel comfortable recommending that product to you. So in this video, I will show you the frame because it is absolutely the best out of the digital frames that Raymond and I have used. Plus I have a discount code for you, <laughs> but I also want to share with you how I am using the frame and how I'm choosing photos to be displayed on the frame in order to tell a story. But backing up a moment, what is a digital frame? <laughs> This is where you have a frame that instead of a printed photo inside has a display like your phone or your computer and you can load photos onto it so that those photos are displayed in the frame. Raymond and I have gifted digital frames before to each of our parents. This is a great gift for grandparents because we send photos to each of our parents frames regularly. Our parents love it when they get surprised with new photos of the grandkids or I'll text my mom a photo of wherever I am, the Grand Canyon or a pretty flower that I saw running and she'll text back, beautiful, that's going on the frame. <laughs> so even when I don't send a particular photo to the frame, my mom will do it so that it shows up in the rotation of photos on the frame. And I will get back to how I'm using the frame for my own photography. But first I wanna tell you about this frame from Aura Frames. Before I agreed to partner with Aura Frames, I did some research because while I had used digital frames before, I hadn't used an Aura frame before. The reviews on Amazon were overwhelmingly positive on all of the Aura frames that I looked into, including their picture quality and their ease of use, which are both things that are super important to me and I imagine to you all as well. So when I received the frame, I was pleasantly surprised to see how nicely the frame is packaged. I realize that that isn't the most important part of the frame, but especially if you're giving it as a gift, it adds an elevated quality to the frame. It makes it feel special. But after I set up the frame in just a couple of minutes using their app on my phone, I agreed with the Amazon reviewers. The app was so easy to use. And the first time Raymond saw the frame, his first comment was that the picture quality is better than the other frames that we've seen. Aura does have a few frames, but I have the Carver Matte frame, which I particularly like because it has a simple design. And it actually looks like the frames with actual prints in them that I have up around the house. But this one is Wi-Fi connected. It is super easy to send photos to it with the Aura app and the digital photos look beautiful in the frame. One additional thing that sets Aura frames apart from other digital frames I've seen is that it has unlimited storage of photos and videos. Did I mention you can display videos on here as well? You can. With the other digital picture frames I've used, you are confined to the space that's on the micro SD card in the frame. Aura does things differently. They utilize the cloud to store the images and the videos. So you literally don't have a limit on the number of photos and videos that you can have displayed on the frame. That's pretty amazing. And for those of you that are security conscious about the cloud, only people that you specifically invite can send photos to the frame. And the cloud storage servers are all located in the US. Okay, let's talk about how I'm using the Aura Carver mat and how you might use it as a photographer. I frequently talk about how we should enjoy the product of our photography labors more by printing and displaying our work, but that can be challenging from a cost standpoint. And also maybe because you may have 50 photos you love from your vacation or your photo adventure, but you don't want to print and hang 50 photos around your home. That's where I see a digital frame being perfect for a photographer. And that's why I wanted one. 
I envision getting back from a photo outing, whether that be a day hike near my home or a bigger trip to a national park and going through my photos, looking for my favorites, editing them up, and then sending them over to my frame so that I can enjoy the photos rather than posting one or two on social media and then filing the photos away on my hard drive, never to be seen again. Speaking of never to be seen again, remember when I went to Bryce Canyon earlier this year? <laughs> what an amazing trip. But I only shared a handful of those images in a YouTube video and on social media before moving on to my next project. So I wanted to pull those photos off the hard drive and go through them again. And I wanted to set my carver frame to shuffle through the photos and videos, changing every so often so that you can see the story of the trip. It's a walk down memory lane for me. I'll remember bits and pieces of the trip by seeing the images, but for anyone else who sees the frame, I want them to be able to understand what it's like to be at Bryce in the winter. To do that, I wanted to choose a variety of images. The broad landscapes of sunrise or sunset are absolutely amazing. And the time lapses are awe-inspiring, but that's only part of the beauty of Bryce Canyon. I wanna see the small things and maybe an animal or two, some close-ups of the rock formations, and maybe even a photo or two of Raymond and I. These are a copy of the images on my hard drive, so I'm just going to delete the ones that I don't want on my frame. Like photos of this raven on a cement post and this cat that I saw in the hotel parking lot. Raymond and I have been to Bryce Canyon several times, but this was our first when there was snow on the ground. So the photos where I see the snow settling amongst the hoodoos really brings me back there. It makes me remember how cold it was for sure. While there are a bunch of trails for you to hike into the canyon, there is also a road through the park with a whole bunch of places to park and see the canyon from different viewpoints. Plus, I wanna be sure to include photos from the bottom of the canyon. It's so neat to walk amongst the vibrant hoodoos, but I also like to see the small things, like just the plants. This one is a little manzanita poking out from the snow. And these adorable birds that start flying around at the rim of the canyon just after sunrise when it's starting to warm up a little bit. And then this was the last morning of the trip. I went out for sunrise on my own. I hiked a little way down one of the trails and thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was so peaceful. Okay, so I didn't end up deleting very many photos from the bunch. <laughs> I still had 89 photos and two time-lapse videos, totaling two and a half gigabytes of files. But since I have unlimited storage for the digital frame, that's no problem. Now, I transferred these to my phone so that I can use the RF Frames app to send the photos over, but there is also a few ways to upload directly from your computer. That being said, transferring over the entire set of images and videos took almost no time at all. And the frame even prompted me with a few steps to get to know the controls during the transfer process. I have been pretty much stuck in bed for basically the last month with a back injury. In fact, this is the first time I am sitting in this chair in a month. <laughs> I have literally gone on to Instagram more than once to scroll through the different national park accounts to torture myself, <laughs> just looking at the beautiful landscapes that I can't be in right now. So this was really nice for me to be able to see some photos that I'd forgotten about and remember those beautiful landscapes and small moments from the trip. And in a week, I might want to switch it up. I might want to pull photos from a trip to Yellowstone or to San Diego or maybe a variety of photos from all different places. So if you still need to do some holiday shopping for loved ones, or maybe even for yourself, check this out. Aura is having its best sale of the year right now, and I have a code for you that will save you even more. So I will link to this frame in the description of the video, along with that special discount code for you to get $10 off Aura's best-selling Carver frames. That discount code though, it's only available through the end of the year, so you'd better order soon. Thank you to Aura Frames for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching.